Hello everyone, this is Ömer Karagüzel from School of Architecture, Carnegie Mellon University. And this is our third tutorial on the development of HVAC systems using Design Builder's advanced modeling functions. As you may remember, the first two tutorials were related with the VAV reheat systems with water-cooled chiller. This time, I will focus on CAV reheat systems with air-cooled chiller. Uh, equipment and as you may know these are the two HVAC systems types that you will be comparing in your assignment 3 so let's have a look at what we have here now you will remember this building from our previous tutorials this time I call it CAV building and it is the same simple building model using core zone versus perimeter zones and we will apply the HVAC system using this simple building case. Again, starting from scratch, we should go to the model options function and then click. And then we will see now it's in simple. It should be detail type. And in the detailed HVAC, we should choose type 2 detailed HVAC data and hit OK. And then design builder initializes the system and puts a new tab here at the, at the component tree and I will initialize the HVAC system so we will directly skip this we're not going to use any object from the library any template from the library I say cancel now we have a blank space and we can start we will start with the very same functions as we did in the VAV type first we need to add a zone group and I will click on it and it's coming into the canvas and then at the zone group, if I click, Design Builder tells me that I need to add some thermal zones before navigating into it. So we say yes. And here I will choose again east, north, south, west and south zones. And I will call it, uh, I will change the name of this group to perimeter zone. And hit OK. So our perimeter zone group is created now and when we look at the elements we see the east north south and west thermal zones click on it and you will see all four of them together and if we click on one of these and zoom in and we have the options now we will start adding some air distribution units to this thermal zone edu units and this time we are not going to use cav reheat we will use uh, excuse me, we will not going to use VAV reheat. This is CAV, so we will use CAV type. Please pay attention to this and click on the CAV reheat and add it to the zone group list. And then click again and then scroll down a little bit and you will see zone extract. So please click on it and drag and drop to the zone group. Okay, we added our CAV reheat system. And in the perimeter zone, we see that all the thermal zones in this list, in this group, has the same air distribution unit. But please pay attention to this reheat, CAV reheat type. We don't have any dampers here. If you compare with the VAV system, we have some dampers. And these dampers are adjusting the volume of air supplied to the zone but at the CAV system there is no such thing so now the terminal units are created and I will go back to the main HVAC system tab and now I have to add a air loop and the air loop is generic air loop just click and drag and drop at some place in the canvas and now we can see that it's added just have a closer look at it. It is air loop HU CAV. So that's nice. No need to change the type because we are already doing CAV system. But we need to make the connections, right? So you go to the air loop, demand side, and then scroll a little bit down and say connect components. Click and from splitter, I should go to the inlet of the reheat. And then from extract, I will just click and connect it to the mixer. Okay, 
This is easy, just connections made. But we are missing some components again. We are missing the heating and cooling coil at the AHU. So all I need to do is just go to the AHU and then look at the look at the tabs on the top row and look at add heating coil. Click and add heating coil water, not electric, not gas. It's a hydronic system, so we should add water. So add it just before the supply fan. Click escape. I don't want it. Another one. And then this time go I'll go up and choose water cooling coil and say OK and edit. And now heating coil, cooling coil are added. So now this is a system, but this is a CAV system is done. So again, similar to the previous one, you can select the entire thing and just clone, right? Like copying and copy, paste, basically duplicating it. And you can do it as much as you want, as much as you need, okay, based on your building design. So now we have a faded blank zone group and it's created here. I double click again a warning, say yes. And then we see the list, the core zone is left. You can click on top or just select the core. This is the zone group name. I can change it, it to core zone and say, okay, so it is created. So we have both air loops. So one of them is for perimeter zone. The other one is for the core zone. I can even rename them, say VAV, I can say VAV perimeter and CAV core. I should say CAV perimeter, so CAV perimeter, CAV core. Go back to HVAC system. Okay, how about the plant side? Now we finished the loops and the connections on the air side, but on the plant side, like the water side systems, basically, what are we going to add? So it's similar. Just uh, scroll down and you should stay at that level, HVAC system level, and add hot water plant loop. So say okay. I will add this plant loop somewhere here. Again, I have hot water loop and the hot water loop has a demand side, which is ready for connectivity. And I have the boiler on the supply side, a set point manager and a pump, basically the same thing. So uh, is there a difference between CAV and the VAV in terms of hot water loop and the boiler? No, they are totally the same, no change. The same thing here, of course, you should go to the demand side and then see the active components and starting from the splitter I should make the right connections one by one carefully it may take some time because you may have more juice but just be patient and then you can finish the connections and then when I could finish splitter connections I will doing I'm now doing the mixer connections and from the mixer these are return, remember, and the color is a little bit different. Supply is bright red. I think there's a little bit of a difference. Supply water is hot water is bright red, and the return water we, you cannot say hot, but maybe warm water is kind of brownish red color. So they differentiate between these two. Okay, I think we made all the connections. Fine. So this is the CAV type, but hot water plant loop. How about the chilled water plant loop? So we will have a look at it. Here it is at chilled water plant loop. I should stay at the HVAC level, top level. Be careful, otherwise you won't see these options. And I will add a chilled water plant loop. Okay, put it somewhere here, that's fine. And again, here it is, CHW loop, and the components basically the same. We have demand side, we need to make the connections. The supply side, I have a chiller, I have a set point manager, I have the cheat water loop. Uh, but first, let's go to, let's go and make this connection. So get, get, let's get after this. Okay, just click from splitter. I know this is, I know this is tiny little, but you can zoom in and read the actual actual names and then do it but just to be quick I'm just connecting these to from the mixer I have only two 
cool in code so that it's relatively easy going back now there's a difference now between CAV air cooled chiller versus VAV water cooled chiller now this is CAV system so this is CAV system and we don't we won't have any water cooled condenser okay this is the main difference now basically we won't have any condenser loop okay because this chiller is air cooled so you will ask am i going to connect these to anything no you won't okay no connection we don't have any condenser loop well, we won't we won't have any cooling tower okay this should be missing but is this chiller type okay i don't think so so let's go in let's go find this chiller and edit component and have a look at it chiller water cooled it is faded but i can see the condenser type is water cooled no i don't want this okay it should be air cooled how to change it changing is easy not not you are not going to add another component you will just go to this doe centrifugal 5.5 cop template chiller template and then you know i have water cooled evaporatively cooled air cooled have a look at this air cooled okay so i will choose air cooled default click on it and it now things has changed condenser type air cooled it's faded but i can see it don't change the cop please keep it the same because we want the cops the types are changing between vav and cav types here the chiller type but the keeping the cop same is important for a fair comparison at least for the type okay say okay and then see connections gone now the system is not making any more connections and it's finished basically fine so everything is in place i don't have a cooling tower i don't have a condenser loop but i have a chiller it's air cooled and i have the boiler that's fine it's the same and i have the type uh, ahu types are okay because we are sure that they are cav type that's fine and that's good so uh, other than that now what is missing here is not related with the hvac system but is a separate loop of domestic hot water loop please do not forget to construct your domestic hot water loop uh, for your cav system also but there's one thing to pay attention between cav and vav these are just hv system types we are not changing the domestic hot water system types between these two options so they should be the same so you should recreate it again with all the same input parameters all the same usages because at the end of the day we won't we don't want to see a difference in the hot water heating consumption okay you can do you can save this as a template and open it up uh, just clear the vav system and reconstruct the cav system this is a way so that you are keeping the domestic hot water system the same or you can write down your inputs very carefully and then start from scratch what you did the same thing here but whatever you do you should keep the same all the same okay so i have hot water loop domestic hot water loop water heater the pump and this set point manager and then supply side and in the demand demand side remember we should add some water outlets so i have a water outlet group it is a group it's it represent, represents a group of water outlet i added it and then i can make the connections it's not why it is not selecting yes connect connect components how about this okay it's doing now and then from mixer to the outlet connections has been made so in terms of configurations in terms of topology that's basically it no more than that so this is how you create a CAV reheat with air cooled chiller in design builder using this advanced graphical program functionalities of design builder now 
I think I will end this tutorial now here and in the second part I will explain the system parameters. Most of them will be the same but there are some changes. We will have a look at this. And in the second tutorial I will also talk about the differences, the main differences between CAV system and the VAV system and I will show you a list of differences in a Word file. But for now, that's it. So we have a complete, complete HVAC system in Design Builder. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorial.